You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Looks like he's transitioning on bar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna attack on bar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Strong bottom work here, stay in his. Oh, now he's in trouble. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Shot. Oh, beautiful level change. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on. You gotta be careful, on bar. Sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Back to the feet now. He's throwing every part of himself. It's oh, a big leg. Lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, Paulo Tai. Oh, he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. Where's the opponent playing checkers? He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown. Here we are, early round two. Big off the punch land. Now we get back to range. Misses again with a right punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Our bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Big elbow. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, side control now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Able to land the single ground strike there. Back to his feet. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of 
with those types of strikes. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Able to check the high kick. Beautiful kick. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the Boca Raton Boxing yeah. District. He's used everything he could early in the fight, and now he's just surviving. That one appeared to start. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Get right here. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man. Head kick there, blocked by Rockford. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Takedown defense holds up. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Lands with the ground and pound here. Back to his feet. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Rockhold gets the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Ferrari! Well, there are a few things as exciting in this.